Welcome to Nonlinear Data Analysis. In this session, we'll go through the course in an overview. The idea behind this course is to look at current machine learning. And machine learning, as currently implemented, depends on two areas of applied mathematics. The first is linear algebra, which in prerequisite courses you learned how to use to manage structured data. We're going to add to that an understanding of optimization. And optimization means we want to find a best answer, and best is going to be defined numerically. Our approach is going to look at mainly at the linear algebra. Optimization is often phrased as a calculus problem, and most texts and resources will view optimization as a calculus problem. We're going to use the calculus to help us to write the linear algebra. As a result, we're going to concentrate on the implementation in this course. There will be three parts to this course. The first part is unconstrained scalar optimization. This will be a function that has a single variable, and we'll colloquially call that scalar land. Here we're going to develop the intuitions and the basic methods that we need. In, in unconstrained op vector optimization, we're going to expand that, and now the underlying landscape is going to be vectors. We're going to solve basic problems that include simple neural networks and how the global positioning system or GPS system works in a simple way. Constrained vector optimization is the third part of this course and in it we're going to solve some serious problems in data regression and data classification. Unconstrained scalar optimization is an, app, an extension of what you should know from prerequisite courses in calculus. We'll also add some linear algebra, of course. What the fundamental idea is, if we have a hard function, one that's difficult, what we'll do is we'll approximate that in an, in an area of interest with an easier function. This will require us to review some basic terms, and in particular, we're going to look at what it means for a function to be convex. We're going to use the Taylor series quite often in this course, and we'll start with it in Scalarland. This will let us implement a very widely used search method that's called line search. When we move to unconstrained vector optimization, we're in vector land. The concepts will be calculus and again linear algebra because vectors are a linear algebra object. We're going to use partial derivatives. We'll review the directional derivative in case you haven't had that. We'll look at gradients in a new way. Gradients are often represented in other sources as a vector, but we'll strictly speak of them as a one form or as a row matrix. What we'll be doing is we'll be searching in a vector space for a place where a function has a minimum. We'll use some second order methods which are involve uh, things beyond a gradient in order to improve our search. This will finally let us really solve some problems in nonlinear equations. It will also let us look at how to train simple neural networks. The final part of this course will look at constrained vector optimization. This will involve some advanced concepts. We're going to use Lagrange multipliers when we constrain a problem to say that something involved with that problem has to be equal to something else. We'll use something called a dual formulation that will let us solve these problems much, much faster. And we'll look at some things that are called the uh, Karushkorn tucker or the KKT conditions that will let us handle inequalities, that is, where one value is greater than another value. This will let us improve the basic support vector machine and really tell us how it's implemented in practice.